Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Oxygen tutorial. My name is Jonathan and in this video we're going to be talking about how to build a custom portfolio website for a photographer using just a couple of plugins, namely Advanced Custom Fields and the Gallery Element inside of ACF. Before we get started, I just wanted to introduce myself. Like I said, my name is Jonathan and I have a YouTube channel called Permislug. Um, outside of the YouTube world, I have a small business. I have around 20 clients that I work with on a monthly basis doing website design uh, and management and then search engine optimization and some social media for these clients. So the idea is that the YouTube channel is gonna be based around everything entrepreneurship from you know pricing and negotiation to the actual nuts and bolts of building websites uh, for clients and um, you know marketing them. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely check out the channel. It's called Permaslug and I'll look forward to seeing you guys there. But let's go ahead and get started in our tutorial today. So as you can see, this is the uh, layout that the website will end up looking like. So it's gonna be a fully functioning site that the photographer can go in and edit um, photos in existing galleries or create new ones without having to pick up the, the phone and call you as the developer or um, actually edit with Oxygen. They do it all from the WordPress dashboard. So as you can see, we're gonna have a left-hand sidebar that stays sticky, and then the right-hand side of the page is all the photo content. You can click on each photo and scroll through them in a nice light box. And then as far as the back end goes, there's just a couple of plugins installed. So we have a custom field set up called Gallery, and inside of that, the only thing that we have set up is just a field that is a gallery element, field type is gallery. Um, we have a custom post type that we've set up called galleries. And underneath that, we have our commercial, portrait, and residential. And that's what you saw over here, commercial, portrait, residential. And then the contact is actually a WordPress page. Um, then underneath Oxygen, we just have two templates. It's our main site-wide template that gives us that left-hand sidebar and the right side um, inner content, and then our gallery template. So as you can see, it's fairly straightforward. Um, in my demo install over here, what I have set up is just a couple of plugins. I have the, the plugins that we're going to need installed and then all of the media items already uploaded. So to begin, we're going to do just a couple of things. The sequence is basically going to be create the custom post type. We're going to create the advanced custom fields gallery. We're actually going to set up our gallery items and add the photos to it. And then we're going to create our oxygen templates. So you can actually see the photos that we've created. Okay, so like I said, first things first, let's go ahead and create our custom post type, which we can do by hovering over CPT UI and saying add edit post types. From here, it's just going to be gallery. And then that's, that's our slug, so it's going to be elated chimpanzee slash gallery is what that one is. Then this one's going to be galleries and gallery, just like that. Add post type, and you're done. You can see the galleries already appears here. From there, what we're going to do is go ahead and add our custom field group. And once again, you guessed it, this one we're going to call gallery. We're going to want to show this post type if it is equal to our gallery post type. So that's pretty straightforward. And then click on add field. Once again, you can just call this gallery and that's gonna automatically fill in, fill in the field name. Field type, once again, we're gonna switch that to gallery and then publish. And that's about all you have to do. You probably saw that I had another plugin installed called bulk press and that's a cool time saving plugin that I use fairly frequently. Um, if you already know what you're after as far as pages or posts, categories, all that kind of stuff, you can come into this little plugin and just create them in bulk. So what we're going to do is change our post type to gallery. And the three um, post types we were working with were commercial, then portrait, and residential. And those are the three. If you want to modify the slugs, you can do that over there, but we'll just go ahead and click add. And now if we go underneath our galleries section, you can see that there they are commercial, portrait, and residential. Now, as far as actually adding the photos to it, once again, it's extremely simple. Click on edit. And then from here, click on add gallery. Since we're under our commercial section, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and add in these commercial shots, uh, which I think is all the way to there. Click select, publish or update. And then that one's done. So let's just go ahead and do the other two. We'll go portrait, add gallery, and then once again, just add in all of our portrait photos. Publish or update. And then one more to do, which of course is just our residential. 
click on edit. And as you can see, it's really simple. One other thing I'll show you just quickly is if the photographer wants to adjust the photos that are in there, all you have to do is just hover over it and there's a little X. You can just eliminate photos if you want to. Click on update or publish once again. And that's about all you have to do from here. So now at this point, we are pretty much ready to get started on our oxygen template. As you can see, I have no oxygen template, so we're gonna go ahead and create our first kind of main site-wide template. So you can call this whatever you want. In my case, I'm just gonna call it main, keep it really straightforward and no ambiguity to that. Then from here, we're going to tell it where to apply, which for the time being is just going to be pages. So update, and then click on edit with oxygen. Okay, so now that the editor has loaded, we're gonna go to manage, settings, and then change the font to something a little bit more interesting. We'll do dosis, which is something you guys will probably recognize if you uh, have visited the Oxygen website at any point in the past. And the body text size, we'll just change that to 19. And that's all I need to really worry about for the moment. Uh, go ahead and open your structure panel and the first thing you'll wanna add is a section. That's gonna be kind of the main container for the whole site. Um, first of all, go ahead and hit advanced and then into size and spacing. Zero out the padding in this all the way around and that will help you make sure that uh, the content stretches to the far edges of the page. And then say section container width, go full width. Um, from here, what I wanna do is change the child element layout to stack horizontally. And with that, now that I've done that, I can go ahead and add my first div. This is going to be our left-hand sidebar section. So change this width to 300 pixels, then go to advanced, layout, scroll all the way down to the bottom and say flex shrink zero. Now from here, click on your section again, or over here in your structure panel, click on it there and add the next div. This one we're going to go to advanced and then size and spacing. Um, we'll change the height just quickly to 100 VH so you can see what that looks like. And then go back to layout, go all the way to the bottom and say flex grow one. And you can see now it takes up all the available space. Um, then under overflow, you're gonna have to say scroll. And that's what's gonna give you that nice scrolling effect in the right hand side of the page. Uh, I'm a big fan of just saving frequently. I just do that all the time. So I go ahead and hit save there. Um, and then I also wanna add some padding to both of these divs. So I'm gonna add 40 pixels of padding all the way around to both divs. And then um, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my logo image. Go to browse, there's my logo there. And then the width, let's set that to 210 pixels. And then let's add 48 pixels of margin underneath the photo. Now I'm ready to go ahead and add in my WordPress menu, which I haven't created yet. Uh, we will do that later, but for now, it's just gonna have some example links. Change the menu layout to vertical, of course, so it fits in the, the um, left-hand sidebar. And then under spacing, I'm gonna zero out the margin and add 24 pixels, excuse me, I'm gonna zero out the padding and add 24 pixels of margin underneath each link. Now what I'm gonna do is go under our text color and change this to something like uh, just a light gray, or excuse me, dark gray, light black, something like that. And I wanna create this global so we can use that later. So I'm just gonna call this standard black. Now from here, I'm gonna go into hover and active and say hover text color, use my global color, and I want it to be a little bit more opaque whenever I hover over that. Or if I'm active on the page, I want it to do the exact same thing. So there you go, now you can see it. The mobile responsive, we're gonna go ahead and switch that to less than 992, and that will make a little bit more sense in a little while. And now at this point, we're basically ready to go ahead and add in our inner content element. So click on your right hand div, go into add and basic, scroll down and choose inner content. That didn't put it where we want it to, so just take that and drag it into that div there. And there we go. So now at this point, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and start modifying our uh, responsive design. So what we're gonna do is just change this to less than 992, and you can see it doesn't quite stack how we want it to, so click on the section and choose stack child elements vertically. Then from here, click on your top div or the left-hand sidebar and change this width to 100%. 
I want these child elements to be horizontal at this point so that they are side by side, and I want it to be in the middle. Then go ahead and click on Space Between so they're on opposite edges. And then, um, as you can see, the logo isn't lined up with the um, menu item properly, and that's because we have margin that's carrying over from the desktop side. So change your margin to zero, or whatever you feel is appropriate there. Then um, click on the div again, and go into Size and Spacing, and change the height to Auto. Basically going to do the exact same thing to this div here. We're going to go to Width, 100%, and then go to Size and Spacing, Height, Auto. And that's about it. That's basically the uh, mobile responsive side sorted out. Uh, let's go down all the way to the bottom and check our logo height, or our logo width, which you can see doesn't look quite that great. It's a little bit too close to the menu in my opinion, so we'll change the width to 180 pixels. Yeah, that looks good. And there you go. That's pretty much the mobile responsive side sorted out. Now let's go ahead and return to the admin side and create our oxygen gallery template. So go ahead and click on add new. We're going to call this one gallery. Click on publish. And there's two settings you need to modify here. The first one is going to be inherit design from other template, which is main. And then we want our post our, our uh, template to apply on our galleries post type. Go ahead and click update. And edit with oxygen. Okay, so now that the editor has loaded, you can see we're previewing our residential um, gallery page. And all we have to do here is just add in one element, click on add, go to helpers, click gallery, and then choose ACF. The ACF field you're gonna type in is gallery, and that's what we named it earlier. So just put in gallery just like that. And there we go, there's our residential gallery. Um, so we can modify our layout however we feel appropriate. So let's change the images per row to something like two. And then and something that's really gonna help load times is if you change the thumbnail resolution to medium, that might be a little bit blurry. Let's change it to medium large. And there you go, that actually looks pretty nice. Um, so then from here, we can just click on save and we can switch over to portrait. And there you go, you can see now we have that nice scrolling effect and our left hand menu stays exactly the same. One other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go under the layout tab and choose image minimum width 150 pixels, which is going to help with your mobile responsive layout. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on save. And then we, let's actually get a real menu set up. So we're gonna go back into the WordPress admin panel. And then let's go to appearance and menus, which we don't have one set up yet. So we'll just call this one main menu. Click on create. And then what I want is actually my galleries that I've created in here. But as you can see, without creating a custom link, there's not an easy way to do it. So all you have to do is click on screen options and then choose galleries. And there they are. So we'll select all and add to menu. Now Oxygen is going to be smart enough to automatically add that menu because we don't have, we didn't have one prior to the Oxygen template set up and now we do. So if we go to our gallery, what I can do is just view it. And then there you go. So you can see residential, portrait, and commercial have already added themselves properly to the actual menu. And there it is. So now you can see that the gallery is set up with that two wide layout like we said. The light box works and you can scroll through all the photos. And our left hand menu works exactly as intended. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my contact form. So first of all, I'm going to go under my contact form and copy the short code then just go to my pages. I'm gonna add one and we'll just call it contact. And then because we have our inner content element set up for the page um, that we're working with, we can just click on publish and then view it. And there it is, there's our contact form set up. So of course that's fairly sh simple and straightforward, but it would work and you can style it however you'd like from there. Let's go ahead and add that page to our menu. So go to Appearance, Menus, and then click on Contact, Add to Menu, and Save. Now I'm gonna go back to my contact page and refresh. And there it is. 
So now all of our menu links are going to work. The only thing that we have to do from this point now is that we don't have a proper home page. Um, so if you were to just visit the actual home page by itself, it's not going to take you anywhere. Um, so I'm going to make our residential gallery our home page. We can do that very simply by adding a plugin called redirection and just sending everything that, that would land on our home page to that gallery. So let's just go ahead and install that real quick. Now under tools, go to redirection. And then what you can do is just add a new redirect. So you say source is just slash and then target is just going to be our residential gallery and then click on add redirect. Now what's going to happen is if we visit just our home page, it automatically takes us back to the residential gallery, which is exactly what we want. So let's click on commercial so you can kind of see the difference here. So do commercial and then it takes us back to the residential page, which is exactly what we are after. So we've pretty much dialed in all the nuts and bolts of this site. We created our custom post type, created the advanced custom fields gallery, set up the galleries and our oxygen templates. And this is what you can see ends up being the end result. So I'm really with ha happy with how this turned out. Our left hand sidebar is exactly how we wanted it to. It stays in place while the right hand side of the page scrolls. And then of course you can click on the photos and scroll through them with the light box. So that looks really nice. Um, the most important thing for me, if I were delivering this to a client, would be the fact that I can I can tell him that um, he can get in there himself and add and remove photos, as well as create new galleries without having to call me or do any um, you know hard coding, is how I would word it. Even though realistically he would just have to get into Oxygen, that's you know much more advanced for someone like him, and that's the whole reason we set up the site like this so that he doesn't have to do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely enjoyed making it. And I'll look forward to seeing you on my channel, Permaslug. Thank you.